Hi viewers, in this video we are going to see how to find the cubic root for non-perfect cube numbers. Actually we are not going to follow the normal long division method. Instead of that we are going to follow a simple and easy trick. Those who feel long division is a little bit difficult method can make use of this method. So already in this channel we have seen how to find the square root for non-perfect square numbers. The same trick only we are going to follow but with a little bit modification. Now let us move on to the problem. Now we are going to find the cubic root for number 68. Okay. So for that first we have to find the perfect cube number which is nearer to 68. The first what we are going to follow the perfect cube number nearer to 68. So the perfect cube number nearer to 68 is 64 right because 4 into 4 into 4 is equal to 64. Let us take a note of that. For using this trick, if you know sum of the perfect cube numbers, it will be very easy and useful for you. So now what we are going to do next, we are going to rewrite the number 68 as 64 plus 4. Because 64 plus 4 is equal to 68. And the 64 is none other than the perfect cube number which is nearer to 68. Okay, we have written. So after that what we are going to do is we are going to find the cubic root for the number 64. Since 64 is a perfect cube number the cubic root is very easy which is 4. So let us write. Then next we have to write the plus as it is then the 4 also as it is. Divided by in the denominator what we have to do is we have to write 3 into. Whatever the problem may be it does not matter. In this step you have to write 3 into in the denominator. This is the small thing you have to remember always. Next what we have to do is you have to find square for the number 4. That 4 is the cubic root of the number 64. You have to find square for that number. So if you write we will get 4 square. So these are the tricks you have to follow. Once this step is over only calculation is pending. Okay. So while doing the calculation what you will get? In the denominator that is 3 into 4 square that is 48. So we have to write 4 plus 4 divided by 48. If we do 4 divided by 48 we will get 0 0.08. So 4 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 4.08. So the final approximation cubic root value of 68 is 4.08. So you have to remember one more thing. In this method you can find only the approximation value not the perfect value. So whenever approximation value is needed for you, you can use this method. Those who find long division method is a very difficult method. And you can make use of this method in competitive exams also. Because this method will save you more time. So let us see some more problem. Now we are going to find the cubic root for the number 145. For that first we have to find the perfect cube number nearer to 145. So the perfect cube number nearer to 145 is 125. Because 5 cube is equal to 125. So next what we are going to do, we are going to rewrite the number 145 as 125 plus 20 because 125 plus 20 is equal to 145. So next what we are going to do, we are going to find the cubic root for the number 125, for the perfect cube number 125. So the cubic root for the perfect cube number 125 is 5. We all know right. So let us read it as 5 plus, we have to write the 20 as it is divided by in the denominator first what we should add we should add 3 into this is the step I ask you to remember always next we have to find the square for the number 5 so now let us write 5 square square of the number 5 is 5 square so that's all only calculation is pending if we do the calculation we will get 5 plus 0.26 because 20 divided by 3 into 25 that is 20 divided by 75 is 0.26 so the final answer will be 5.26 so the approximate cubic root value for 145 is 5.26 i hope that this trick is very clearer to you now so finally let us see one problem and shall finish the video so now we are going to find the cubic root for the number 8100 for this what we have to do we have to find the perfect cube number nearer to 8100 so the perfect cube number nearer to 8100 is 8000 because 20 into 20 into 20 is 8000 let us take a note of that next we have to rewrite 8100 as 8000 plus 100 okay now we have written Next what we have to do we have to find the cubic root for the number 8000. So the cubic root for the number 8000 is 20 let us write as it is plus 100 divided by in the denominator first we should add 3 into then 
what we have to do we have to find the square of the number 20 so let us write 20 square okay so if we do the calculation we will get 20 plus 100 divided by 1200 the value of 100 divided by 1200 is 0 0.08 so let us rewrite as 20 plus 0 0.08 so finally we will get 20.08 so the approximation cubic root value for 8100 is 20.08 i hope you might have understood this trick very clearly so if you want to use this trick you should have known some of the perfect cube numbers so if you remember some of the perfect cube numbers this trick will be very easy and useful to you comparing to long division method so if you like this video press the like button if you find this video is very helpful share to your friends subscribe our channel tricky tips max and if you want to receive notifications whenever i am posting the video press the bell icon thank you